Good on everyone, XN Shot X here from NTP, and I'm back again with another Hermitcraft member. Uh, this time we have uh, one of three members from a group called Pixel Nerds. This guy, uh, his name is Alex. Um, and I'll you know I'll leave a link to their YouTube channel in the description. But the thing about these guys is that they did in fact leave the uh, uh, the group, the Hermitcraft, they left uh, Hermitcraft and I think they also quit doing YouTube. I don't know. Um, you know, last time I saw they uploaded something I think a few years ago. So they probably did. But you can check it out to see if you wanted to. You know, maybe you'll enjoy their content, what they have. So I mean, it's still up. Their channel's still there. So if you want to go check them out, you feel free. Um, also, I'll leave a link to the uh, the video where we uh, did all these. So so far, we're up to the fourth one. Um, funny enough, this guy looks a lot like Mark <laughs> from Mojang. So. Pretty uncanny how close they looked uh, like one another when we made them. We had no idea that they were going to look so close to one another. Uh, yep, that's uh, that's them. So uh, let's just go ahead and get into this now, uh, dimension-wise. So uh, the uh, legs here are eight by four by twelve. The torso is eight by four by twelve, and the arms they are attached to a line of the torso, and they are four by four by twelve. And the head here is eight by eight by eight with uh, no hat effect, thankfully. So nothing crazy with this guy, just a uh, regular old dude with a lot of detail on his body. Like, not even funny. He's got a ton of detail. And like I said, looks a lot like Mark for some reason. But, you know, whatever. So uh, then those dimensions are linked by width by height, and will be in the description. And as usual, I'll have pictures at the end in the plastic texture pack um, to help you with uh, this guy. Because he's very detailed and... Using those pictures might be pretty beneficial for you. It might help you out a lot. So let's go ahead and get into the detail though now. So a lot of his pants here, you can see it's uh, mostly black. Um, you can see a, a little bit of detailing though down there in the shoes with light gray and stone. And a little bit of stone and gray and uh, a little bit of white as well on the sides here. Uh, about midway up through the legs. So there's, uh, there's that. Moving over here to the side. Gets a little bit crazier. Got a little bit more, a uh, little bit more colors. Got white, light gray, stone, gray, um, gray on the bottom with a little bit of light gray and stone as well. And then the rest of it's just black. You know, not too crazy. Just a lot of the, uh, you know, the lower end colors and then just white. That's how it is. Like the black and grays and then just white kind of pops in here. All right. As for this, it's just like this part of his shoes. Like, this is the only part of the back of his shoes. Actually, it kind of looks like a face now that I look at it. It looks kind of funny. And, um, so it's just gray, uh, stone, and light gray. And then literally the rest of it is black. Like, all the black here, and then all the way up to the very top where his hands would meet up here. That's all just black, so here's just, like, maybe a, uh, a down look at it. I don't know. It's, it's just another angle to check out, so there you go. And then this side of the legs is exactly the same as this side of the legs, you know. So there you go. Just mimic them across. Just copy them over. And there's both sides of the legs for you. Now it's time for the front of the torso, which I believe is probably the most detailed part about him. So he has pink on his hands, and I'm not kidding. He actually has, like, pink on his hands, which is really strange, but it's there. Um, he's got black on, like, the sash on his body and from his pants. He's got cyan from his shirt and blue from his shirt. He's got gray detailing going around that sash on his body. A little bit of stone scattered about everywhere, along with light gray. Light gray and stone are just scattered everywhere. Um, like for just, you know, outlinings or something. And the rest of him is literally wood. You have spruce wood. You have spruce wooden planks. You have oak wood. Uh, oak wooden planks. You know... You got the mixture of all, and brown, of course, uh, to top it all off with all the colors here. So you have a lot of colors, like, going crazy right here. So, uh, good luck here. <laughs> That's all I can tell you. And then, so here's this side of the, uh, of the arm. Most of these colors wrap around as far as the light gray and the, um, and the spruce wooden planks. Or, I mean, the spruce wood, I'm sorry. But, um... You know, he's got a lot of different colors here. Again, spruce wood planks, oak wood planks, oak wood, spruce wood, light gray. You still see that pink there. And a lot of it, though, is brown, in fact. A lot of it is, in fact, brown, because it just kind of goes up the sleeve here, like right up the sleeve. 
So you have all that brown there, brown in that corner. And then, um, so here's the back. A lot more wood, you know, a lot less of uh, colors this time. But um, you again have the black from the pants and the sash, gray, around, gray detailing going around the sash. Uh, the skin's obviously oak wood and planks. And uh, light gray going around that, spruce wood going around that. Uh, you have actually just uh, spruce wood, spruce wood and planks, spruce wood, oak wood and planks, and oak wood um, scattered about with light gray and white. So I'll just kind of, uh, I'll just focus here, I'll focus on this arm, right? I'll focus on this arm, and we'll go up. So here's above the collar. Oh, that's getting in the way. That's getting in the way, too. Jesus, I'm like right between two letters. All right, focus now. So, here's this. Here's all the wood on this shoulder. I'll do the same over here, just because we're at a really tight corner, and there's nothing, there's nothing I can really do. So here's this. And here. Well, I mean, we tried. Yeah, I'll do this. There you go. There's that side. This side's the same as the other side, by the way, so it's just a mirror. Mirror's right over. Now we'll focus on the back. Here's this. We move up. Probably gonna hit a letter. Somehow we didn't, amazingly. And then here's the other half of the back. There you go. Oh, there's a letter. I think this is all, in fact, light gray. I, I said white. Actually, no, that's white right there. What am I saying? Never mind. I was trying to take something back. All right, now it's time for the head, which is the easiest part, so we can just burn through this and be done. So the skin is oak wooden planks, eyes are green, other half of the eyes are white, the mouth is black, and hair is brown. Check that out. Isn't it cool? Yep, it's really cool. Moving on. Awesome. All right, hair's brown over here. Skin, oak wooden planks. Simple as that. Just kind of looks like stairs going down. It really does. Ugh, it's my eye. There we go. So, and then we get to the back of the head here. We just have these, uh, like a standard, like, two things come in, you know. Two. Two there, two there. And it's all just brown wool on the back of his head. Check that out. There you go. All brown wool right there. And then this side of the head is actually different from the other side of the head. Very important to note, this side is different. So it's uh, brown, and then just oak wood playing stick. Same thing, same co uh, colors and stuff, but a different uh, pattern. So very important to note. After you do that, you just fill in the top here with uh, brown wool, and then you're done with uh, Alex So uh, from the Pixel Nerds. So that's one of three. The other two should be coming out uh, on the same day today, so fear not. Um, his fellow comrades will be joining him. So yes, but... Uh, that's it for this one, guys. If you have any requests, go leave in the comments. It could be other YouTubers or other, you know, just anything, really. Any of their uh, skins, custom skins, anything, really. Other Hermocraft members, maybe. I don't know. But uh, that's it for this, guys. Thank you for watching. And as always, I will see you for the next one.